nice to see you. Actually, now I'm happy to talk to you. But a little bit earlier today, I was really pissed because I sat down here in my little studio to make a video for you. But then I couldn't do it because of this. Therefore, I decided to ditch my original video plan for today and talk about this. A concept I will never understand. Leaf blowers. Why? Why? No, honestly, the thing is, when I moved to LA from Finland, all my friends said, oh, be careful, there are a lot of dangerous people in LA. It's not like Finland, it's much bigger and there are so many dangerous people. And the most dangerous person I encountered so far here in LA is this man outside with the leaf blower. Actually, I also had a crazy stalker and that got really scary, but at least he didn't have a leaf blower. Anyway, I ditched my original video plans for today and I put on a different outfit <laughs> because I thought it matches with the colors of the leaves. Because it's not the leaves fold that we have leaf blowers here. <laughs> I bet if the leaves could decide they would prefer a classical rake over a leaf blower. Pretty sure. Let's talk about leaf blowers. So there's this man with a leaf blower. He's kind of a gardener by profession, or maybe just a sadistic person who wants to torture the neighbors and the local wildlife. I am not 100% sure about that. But this man with the leaf blower, he comes here every Thursday morning and he starts to blow the leaves with his fucking leaf blower at 7 a.m. every Thursday morning. And most of the time, you can also hear him on Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, because that's when he goes to terrorize the other neighbors who live close by. But it's so loud that you can still hear it. And you have to know, the walls in California tend to be very thin. Unlike in Finland, because in Finland the walls are like this, or like this at least, because we have minus 30 degrees outside. But here in California it's warm and because of the earthquakes, they all tell me the walls need to be this thin, or more like this thin. And you know, the thing is, every Thursday morning, and mostly also Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning, at 7 p.m. I am asleep, sleeping peacefully in my bed. And this morning I had such a beautiful dream. And then... And because the f***ing walls are so f***ing thin, the f***ing guy with his f***ing leaf blower sounds like he is standing right beside my bed, doing this. So that you know what I'm talking about, I filmed this original material for you. And I even managed to capture him on camera. This is what it sounds like with closed door. Now let's open the door. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm a vlogger. I'm a vlogger. about leaf blowers. Why? Why the f Who invented them? You know I'm very much into non-violence. <laughs> you know I'm into non-violence, but I would really love to meet the person who invented leaf blowers and have a little <coughs> chat with him. Just, you know, like with a lot of loving kindness and stuff. So I also want to tell you some facts about leaf blowers. It's not only loud, it also really stinks. It is really polluting the air unnecessarily. Leaf blowers are really shitty. They are really bad for everyone, for humans, for animals, for everyone. And I really want to go into detail now and tell you why leaf blowers are so bad. The noise of a standard leaf blower is 90 decibel. And then they say, yeah, but the newer ones only have around 70 decibel. Yeah, congratulations. And did you know how bad the pollution is? A standard leaf blower also emits more carbon dioxide and hydrocarbons than an average car. 
I read an article in which they said that it would be probably better for the environment if you would use a pickup truck to blow the leaves. Yeah, <laughs> a standard leaf blower also blows the leaves <laughs> with a wind speed of 200 miles per hour. And this speed also steers up contaminants and pollutants from the ground and makes them circulate in the air so that we all can breathe them in like a beautiful autumn day. Let's go outside and enjoy the good autumn air. <coughs> yeah, let's talk about my hippie family now. When we moved out of the bus, we moved into a house in the countryside and we had a lot of trees around our house and they also had a lot of leaves, especially in autumn. And do you know what we did? We took some rakes and we were raking the leaves away and then we put them into a bag and then we emptied these bags onto a compost, you know, that's what we do. And you know what was really good about that? The leaves were gone once and for all. But you know what a leaf blower does? The leaf blower, as you might know, blows the leaves from one place to another place. And then the wind comes, like it happens out in nature. The wind comes and blows the leaves back in the place where we were before. And then the next day, the guy with the leaf blower comes again to blow the leaves back in the place where he had blown them before. And then, guess what? The wind comes again and blows the leaves back again. <laughs> it's like an eternal fight with nature. Blowing leaves with a leaf blower makes no sense because it is like sweeping them under the carpet. Oh, maybe that's the way I could use my carpets. Or I could just use them as noise protection. <laughs> Actually, I think behind leaf blowers there must be a conspiracy theory. I bet leaf blowers are more like a job creation scheme for unemployed gardeners. Or just sadistic people who want to torture their neighbors and the local wildlife. Like this guy. Yeah, guys, that was my first rant video. I hope you liked it. And I really hope and pray for you that you will not have a person with a leaf blower close to you. And I also really hope that they will ban them because I've heard there's talk about banning them and I would really be up for that. Hey guys, I'm here for that. If you need me to sign something, come to me. I will sign everything that helps to ban leaf blowers. And if you have a problem with leaf blowers too, and you need some noise protection, let me know. I still have some extra carpets. Thank you for watching. See you soon, guys, and never stop dreaming!